So as we all know, Generation 10 is going to be the next Pokemon generation, and of course Nintendo really hasn't said anything about it yet, but fans have come up with some theories and picked up on some hints as to where they think it's going to take place and some other information about it. Also guys, we're so close to 9,000 subscribers and I'm doing a giveaway for a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch. So make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so you can be entered into the giveaway. Firstly, I just wanted to talk about the date of when Generation 10 might come out. It's most likely going to be 2025 because currently it's 2023, last year was 2022, we got Generation 9. It typically takes about 3 years for a new gen to come around. Every now and then it may take 4 years, but that's really not typical. It's pretty much 3 years, so if we're going with that average 3 year release for every new generation, it would be 2025. Currently it's mid 2023 as I'm making this video, and this year we're probably not going to get a new Pokemon game. Like, the new Pokemon game this year would be Detective Pikachu, which doesn't really count, you know what I'm saying? That's just a side game. But in 2023, we're getting the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which I'm actually excited about. And I'm glad that it's in two different parts, so they're going to release the first part at the end of this year sometime, and then the second part maybe early next year, something like that. But I think that's actually a smart decision on Nintendo's part, because if we're not going to get a new Pokemon game this year, a two-part DLC will give us plenty of content to last a while, and it'll give us two reasons to come back to the game. The first reason being the first DLC, and of course the second reason being the second half of that DLC. So I think it's kind of smart, it's going to make Scarlet and Violet last as long as possible. There's also rumors that Nintendo might actually release a huge update that fixes a lot of the bugs and glitches within Scarlet and Violet, which is literally the worst part about the game. It's such a fun game, but man, those glitches are terrible. But going on to 2024, that's obviously currently unknown of what Pokemon will release that year. We don't know what game is going to come out. Maybe they're going to do Gen 5 in 2024, Gen 5 remakes. I've already made a video about that, so I'm not going to go in depth too much on that. But it would kind of make sense with the timeline of Pokemon releases. Hopefully, if they do Gen 5 remakes, though, that they will do a good job and not make it like BDSP. I enjoyed BDSP, but I understand why those weren't very loved by the fans as a remake for Gen 4. Some people think we also might get a new Legends game, just like Legends Arceus, but with a different Pokemon. You know, it could be Legends Rayquaza or Legends Celebi or something. I've made a few videos about another Legends game. I think I made Legends... Uh, Kiram and Legends Celebi, so check those videos out. Just, you know, rumors, theories, or fan-created storylines and stuff like that that I talk about in those videos. But I think it would be kind of cool if in 2024 we got Gen 1, 2, and 3 ported onto the Switch, either within like a digital slash physical copy or maybe through the Switch online service. I think that'd be really good because we don't have Generation 1 or 2 or 3 on the Switch. Lots of people haven't played them too, and now that the 3DS eShop is closed, there's no way to digitally download them onto the newest console or even on your 3DS anymore. So I think that would be really beneficial for Nintendo because people are gonna buy them. Those are like some of the most replayable Pokemon games out there. People love them, they will buy them. You know, they're only like 10 bucks, or at least they were $10 on the eShop, and that's a great price. You know, you can't go wrong with $10. So I think that would be kind of cool for a 2024 release. Maybe even if they ported Gen 4 onto the Switch, which I don't think they've ever done that before. They've never ported Gen 4 onto anything, to my knowledge. So that would be kind of interesting. But yeah, with that being said, Generation 10 is 100% not coming out in 2024. Well, I guess I shouldn't say 100. I'll say 99% not going to come out in 2024. It would make the most sense for it to come out in 2025. Also, something else that I was thinking about is how the Switch's lifespan is almost over. So I was thinking if Generation 10 will come out on the Switch or maybe the next console, which which rumors are that it's just going to be called like the Switch 2 or something, but it's probably not going to be called the Switch 2. You know, they kind of did that with the Wii U. People didn't really know that was a new console. So I think if it was a Switch 2, it probably wouldn't sell very well unless it was just like a huge redone version of the actual Switch itself then, you know, maybe call it the Switch 2. But I think it's just going to be called something brand new. But the Switch has been out for, what, six years almost? Seven, six years? So the new console is definitely coming around within the next few years, which would, which might add up to the time of Generation 10. But my question is, will Generation 10 of Pokemon come out on the Nintendo Switch or will it come out 
on the next console because because when they actually released the switch back in like 2017 they still released brand new pokemon games on the 3ds that year and i think it was the year after that was another brand new 3ds pokemon game that didn't come to the nintendo switch because they wanted the highest amount of sales because everyone had a 3ds already so they figured why not put this on the 3ds it's going to get more sales and the point i'm trying to make is that the switch has about 125 million units sold so there's like 100 million people out there with a nintendo switch meaning if they release generation 10 which is going to be a big game it's generation 10 of pokemon they're going to have to do something big they're going to want that to be a massive game so it makes sense for them to release it on the switch with a a huge fan base there's just so many people on there rather than if they released a new nintendo console in 2025 they're not going to have 100 million units being sold the same year they're definitely going to get a lot of units sold like that's for sure but they would get the most sales for the new generation 10 pokemon on the nintendo switch not on the next console but it would kind of make sense for them to release the next console in probably 2026 these are just my theories nothing's confirmed i'm just trying to think of what nintendo probably would do to get the most money out of their big release and you know like this is the first double digit pokemon generation so they're gonna really want a grand release for this game they're gonna want a ton of copies of this game sold so it's probably gonna be released on the switch but if it is hopefully the graphics don't end up being like scarlet and violet just being really laggy i think they definitely learned we've seen big games have good graphics you know what i'm saying like zelda breath of the wild zelda tears of the kingdom great graphics for the switch and they're not laggy so i don't know why scarlet and violet were so laggy but it's okay they definitely learn i think i also wanted to quickly talk about the starter pokemon and what i feel like they should do i feel like the three starter pokemon should be a little bit reminiscent of generation one just because it's generation 10 you know it's like a big milestone i think they should be a little bit reminiscent but also extremely different at the same time i feel like they should just go all out with the design of the new starters because i feel like the last you know like three generations of pokemon starters haven't been that great in my opinion like they're still cool like i like them but but that's just my opinion of course some people probably think that generation 9 may have the best starters out there you know what i'm saying but this is just my opinion so it'd be kind of cool if they were a little bit reminiscent of charmander squirtle and bulbasaur but also just extremely different just go crazy with the designs go out of the box make it feel just like a whole new style almost i definitely like to see a change with that and i also heard that a lot of fans don't actually want the open world style for generation 10 a lot of people think it's annoying and i feel like a lot of people think it's annoying because of the lag scarlet and violet had which is definitely understandable but in my opinion i thought scarlet and violet were really fun like set aside the lag and the glitches i thought it was a really fun game so was legends arceus i love the open world style but i also love just the regular you know the og pokemon style of games where it's not open world and you go down a path that you're supposed to go down so personally i don't really care if it's open world or not i'm gonna enjoy it either way i recently came back to scarlet and violet and played some of it because i didn't finish like the very end with area zero and everything so i finally beat that part but i forgot how laggy that game actually is it's insane so many just random frame rate drops so much lag when I have the Switch docked to my TV, there's just like white lines that show up. It's just, it's weird, but it's it's a really fun game. So I mean, for the open world style though, I just think it's really cool to see Pokemon wandering around and I felt more immersed in the world and it just felt more real to me, more real to play. I feel like I could spend way more time in an open world Pokemon game than I can within a just like OG type of style Pokemon game. You know what I'm saying? But of course, with Generation 10, there's gonna be a brand new region, brand new generation of Pokemon. But I think I'll wait for a future video to talk about more fan theories and where it's based on. Because uh, there's some theories about where Generation 10 is based on. Because every generation, every region is based off of something real in the real world. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Generation 10 of Pokemon. Are you guys excited? Looking forward to it? When do you think it's going to come out? Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to be entered into the giveaway. It's ending really soon, guys. We're like 23 subs away from 9K.